Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to the Naked in Truth podcast. It is your host and your coach, Sari D, and it is 2024, motherfuckers. I hope that you are so excited for a new year. Whether you are listening to this on New Year's Day, maybe you're listening to this a little bit later in the week because you partied a little bit too hard for New Year's, maybe you are new to the podcast and you're coming to listen to this episode later in the year. I just want to welcome you to 2024. We did it. We made it through another year. And I can tell you that 2023 was a strange one for us. We did not have our greatest year this year from health issues to home issues to people passing. It was a really, really tough year for us. But this is where I want to remind us that there is going to be all types of years throughout our our life. There is going to be years where we're always going to remember them because of all the amazing things that happened. And then we're always going to remember other ones because of the shitty things that have happened, right? There's years where we have massive financial growth. And then there's years where things are a little bit tighter and we have to pinch our pennies. There's going to be years where our relationships are flowing and abundant. And then there's going to be years where we feel like our relationships are maybe strained or more, more stagnant. But no matter what year it is that we come into, We need to understand that each year has purpose. Each year is what shapes us into who we are supposed to be. And I really want us to look back on 2023 and ask ourselves, who did 2023 make me? And who do I want to be in 2024? So many of us wait and we wait so long that we miss the mark because we're waiting to one day end up be the person that we genuinely want to be instead of just simply showing up as that person. If we can start showing up as the people we want to be in 2024, that is the quickest way for you to turn into that person. But if you're constantly waiting for this perfect day, like, you know, right now it's New Year's. I'm a personal trainer. So obviously lots of growth on the team right now. There's many resolutioners out there. And what's funny is that anybody who I was talking to in the last few days of December, they're like, you know, maybe I'll just wait and and I'll start until the new year. And I'm like, what are you waiting for? Like, are you, are you simply waiting on that perfect moment? And they're like, you're right. What am I waiting for? You're I'm fucking ready. But we simply as humans naturally want to hold us back because we feel like there's just going to be this perfect moment to make change. But What we don't understand is that a lot of the time we are stuck in situations where we're not as comfortable as we think. Even though we think that change is going to be uncomfortable, we are actually more uncomfortable staying where we are than making the change and growing into who we want to become or simply making these decisions towards a better life for ourselves. Now, in order for us to make 2024 different, we cannot continually repeat the same behaviors. That is the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing and expecting a different outcome. Now, I know that many of us get discouraged because we feel like we put in effort for a little bit of time, but our brain actually likes to play tricks on us. And so it will tell us that we're doing something at a longer capacity than what we typically are when we're making a change in something. So I want to give an example to you guys like eating healthy. I know that a lot of people are cutting sugar and they're cutting alcohol. You know, many people woke up this morning and they're like, fuck drinking. I'm never going to drink again in my life. Mm, We'll see how that goes. But with that being said, we have these intentions that we put forward that it feels like it's been a really long time that we've been riding them out. But really, it's just that the change is new to us and it makes us feel like it's taking longer than what it is. So a lot of the time, you know, this is why people end up really blowing through their weekends is they feel like they did a good job during the week. And they want to treat themselves on the weekend because they feel like they've put so much into that week but or like weekdays. But what they don't recognize is that if they continued on for another week, a full week, not just weekdays and then separate with a weekend, we're talking about a full seven days, two weeks in a row, that change is not going to seem so difficult anymore. But when we're just starting something off, it is going to seem a little bit more challenging than what we were originally doing because we were doing that original thing for so long. Does that make sense? So I just want to make sure that 
when you're making your goals for this year, because I know a lot of people still haven't even thought of it, of what they want to really do. You know, maybe you have this idea that you're filtering through your head of, of starting a family or making a career change or moving different cities, but it's kind of just this idea in the back of your head. And it's not something that you've put forward into a thought process as to how is this really going to work? You know, how, what steps do I need to take in order to make these things happen? Right. And I think that it's really important that as we are creating these steps of what we need to do to achieve our goals, that we're not expecting too much out of ourselves. Because as we come into this new year, new me mentality, we sometimes want to either delay on our goals and keep waiting for that perfect moment, like what I've been talking about, or we bite off more than we can chew. And we end up driving ourselves into the ground within a couple of days, trying out something new because we went at it too hard. So I want to make sure that we are practical, realistic, intentional, and that we allow ourselves not only just the grace to try something new, but also making sure that we're giving ourselves the encouragement that we can do what we want to do, that we are able to do it big in 2024 if that's what we want. But I also want to just let you guys know, like if you are happy with where you are, I know that at this time of year, it's always like new me, new goals, but it's okay to stay where you are too. Okay. What is not okay is if you're not happy, you're in strained relationships and that you're not having a self-aware approach to how you're living your life. Okay. Because in my opinion, even if you're 50, there's still so much room for you to be able to grow. And I just don't ever, sometimes I feel like growth always sounds like it needs to be something big. Like I said, like a career change, adding to your family, moving different cities, but growth can also mean so much more on what we would view as the smaller retro scale. So for example, What about all of these emotional changes? I know that there's a lot of people out there that hold a lot of envy and jealousy. These traits are not allowing you to feel any better about yourself or your life. So what are you going to do to make that mindset work for you instead of against you? As much as you think that you're putting up a defense mechanism and that a lot of the time it's this woe is me mentality. It is not something that's serving you. So that's an area where we can make change. You know, some of us play too much into our emotions. And as soon as we feel something emotionally, we need to act it out. But that isn't how we allow ourselves to have successful relationships with ourselves, with other people. We cannot play off of our emotions all the time or else we become an emotional fucking roller coaster. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but I think that even in the smallest ways, there's room for improvement for us to not be so reactive and to make sure that we are acting appropriately and not just off of our emotions. Because a lot of the time I'm feeling tired and I don't want to go to the fucking gym. But if I listen to that, I'd be over 200 pounds, on the couch, watching TV all the time, depressed, ordering skip the dishes. But I don't want to be that person. So even though I'm feeling tired or even though I'm cold and I don't want to go out in the winter and go and start my car, like these are things that we need to do in order to be the people that we want to be. And that's just an example for me. So we need to make sure that we are going into 2024 understanding that there's a lot that we can do ourselves to make it an amazing year and that there's a lot of people out there right now that are toxic because they aren't willing to put in their self-development. They are hurt people hurting other people. Those are the people we need to stay the fuck away from in 2024. As I mentioned in the last podcast, we are not the kind of people who give off other people's energy, if they're giving us that bad energy, I hate talking that way, but you know, like if people are just being a shit bagger, 
we don't need to return that shit bagger attitude back to them, right? We can simply cut our boundaries and make sure that we do not allow other people's negativity to affect us. And this is where I really want to make sure that we protect our intentions going into 2024. Because as I mentioned, hurt people hurt people. What do we see more than ever on the internet right now? You know, the meanest comments that you could ever imagine. The stuff that people say to each other just like quite literally blows my mind. You know, there's a massive lack of support currently. There is so many things going on in this world that has allowed people to that has that has allowed people to turn themselves bitter because of it. And that's what I want to pretend protect ourselves from is people who are holding on to all of the worldly things and aren't willing to take any type of responsibility for how they play their part or their view in their day-to-day life. You know, the one thing that we will always have, guys, is our is our perception. And I cannot express enough that perception is absolutely everything. So if there's one thing that you could look at growing on in 2024, I would recommend it being your perception. How are you viewing things? You know, let's just say, let's just say you achieved something really big, like you finished your degree, okay? And you wanted to tell your circle of friends, but maybe your circle of friends, you know, have always worked a regular nine to five. They never really went to college and they are feeling jealous at the fact that you're about to have this big career. You know, you put in your four years of work, you did very well at your degree and they're kind of pissed. And you can tell that they're not giving you the type of celebration and excitement for your achievement of them being your friend as what you deserve. And we need to watch out for these people because these people are the ones that need the help the most. There's nothing wrong with you, but what sucks is that their actions and their words end up making you feel like you are the one that's inferior. So I want to make sure that we are not afraid to cut people out of our lives that aren't in the same level that we are, okay? You should never feel like you're bragging in your circle of friends celebrating your achievements. But what's so strange is that people are so petty in today's day and age that they literally feel so threatened by their friends that they wish ill upon them. It's not going to be hard for you to peg out who these people are, especially if you are self-aware and you take the time to listen to how people are talking. You take the time to look at their body language, okay? These are huge indicators of how people are actually feeling no matter what's coming out of their mouth, right? And that comes down to tone and all like how they're how they're looking at you, where they're looking. There's a lot that can tell how a person's feeling. So I just want to make sure that with being intentional in 2024, not just about our goals, but about our life as a whole, we need to make sure that we are assessing who and what needs to be cut out and making sure that we are taking the effort to build relationships and skills and attributes in our life that allow us to be happy. Just because somebody's been in your life forever doesn't mean that they need to be there forever. Just because you felt like last year was a total bust, that does not mean that this year needs to be a bust. Just because you couldn't find one positive thing to write down about last year, that does not mean that positive things didn't happen. We need to understand that every day is a blessing that we go through and everything that we go through shapes us for a reason. But a lot of us, instead of looking at the lesson, we look at it as a loss. Any type of, any type of challenge that we go through, we have the wrong mindset of looking at it as a loss or that there's something wrong with us as to why we're going through challenges. Why can't my life be like someone else's? No. We're going to cut that type of mentality and we are the kind of people who recognize that we produce the results that we want. 
we are able to create the social circle that we want and deserve. We are able to do big fucking things if that's what we want to do. But we need to believe that we can and we need to take the actions that we need to to get there. And we need to make sure that we're surrounded by the right people. So I just want to wish you a beautiful freaking start to 2024. It is going to be such an amazing year. I have some really cool stuff up my sleeve for you guys. So make sure to stay tuned and make sure to post this episode to your story if you enjoyed it, if you felt like it gave you some inspiration of how to start 2024 off right, making sure that we are keeping it intentional. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning into this podcast. If you have a hangover today, I do hope that it doesn't last into tomorrow. And just remember, guys, if you are feeling really hungover today, it's not that we're never going to drink again. It's about how can we be more intentional in our approach with drinking so that we don't wake up the next day and feel like absolute trash, okay? So there is ways for us to approach these things Without such a giant balls to the walls mentality, we just need to assess what we actually want and not be so hard on ourselves when we feel like we've made a mistake. We need to take that lesson, not that loss, and be intentional about 2024.